Hi, my name is Sean Casey and I'm a registered dietitian and sports nutritionist. Today I'd like to discuss with you Nutrition 101 Basics as it relates to the macronutrients. This group of nutrients includes protein, carbohydrates, and dietary fats. The thing holding them all together is that they supply your body with energy in the form of calories. Let's look at each of these macronutrients a little bit more in depth. Starting off with protein. Along with providing the body energy, protein serves two key roles. First, protein is the fundamental building block of muscle tissue. Second, protein acts as a taxi cab within your blood, transporting key vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients throughout your body. Although protein is important for everyone, populations which deserve special attention in this category include individuals such as adolescents, highly physical active individuals, as well as those looking for weight management support. A final group who can benefit from added protein in their diet is elderly individuals who are looking to prevent age-related decreases in muscle mass. Let's shift gears and look at carbohydrates a little bit more in depth. Unfortunately, carbohydrates have gotten a lot of negative press in recent years. In some cases, it's warranted. If you're an individual experiencing metabolic disease such as type 2 diabetes or similar, going on a low carbohydrate diet may very well be warranted. However, carbohydrates are also responsible for supplying the body with energy during more intense activities. Thus, depending on your physical activity levels, carbohydrates very well may be your best friend, especially if you're an athlete or fitness enthusiast. Working as a registered dietitian and certified sports nutritionist, I often have athletes come to me on low-carb diets. First thing I do is add carbs back into their diet, and almost overnight, their performance dramatically increases. Let's be real, what athlete doesn't want big gains in performance? The final macronutrient I'd like to spend some time on is dietary fat. Similar to carbohydrates, dietary fat has gotten a lot of bad press in recent years, be it from heart disease issues, or weight gain, or anything of that nature. The truth of the matter, though, is on its own, dietary fat, especially if it's from healthier sources, will not increase the risk of cardiovascular disease necessarily, and it definitely won't cause weight gain on its own. Rather, eating too much of anything, be it protein, be it fat, or carbohydrates, will cause one to get fat. As mentioned, dietary fat does supply the body with energy, which is probably its most recognized role. However, there are actually two roles that dietary fat plays in the body that most people don't even realize. Dietary fat increases absorption of various micronutrients such as vitamins as well as phytonutrients. Now you may be asking yourself, what's a phytonutrient? Phytonutrients are nutrients in plants that have been shown to support various aspects of human health. For instance, one phytonutrient is known as lutein. Lutein is found in various dark leafy greens and it's been shown to support eye health. Take dietary fat away from the equation and your ability to absorb these nutrients greatly decreases. The final thing influenced by dietary fat is sex-based hormones such as estrogen and testosterone. By eliminating all sources of dietary fat, especially if you're on a calorie-restricted diet, these hormones will fluctuate and often not in the way you'd prefer. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of the macronutrients. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out to your local hometown pharmacist. Thanks and have a great day.